Hey fellow tubers, another bocce Tuesday. What a beautiful fire, huh? That's just plain beautiful. How are you folks doing? Doing all right here. Cool game bump going behind me. We had a great match earlier. I lost by one point, but it's all good. Anyhow. Isn't that beautiful? I think I got my anti-stabilizer on. I'm just learning about this new fangled stuff. Uh, what a beauty. Some, sometimes the, the logs just sit just right, you know? Alright, so I'm gonna lean against there. Beautiful, huh? I stacked them a little weird. I used a couple blocks that were there that were a little strangely hurt. I guess, I, yeah, that, that's worded right. They were strangely cut. That's nice, huh? This is so cool to have a Tuesday gig like this. I was a little late. Somebody had to take my first throw, but at least they didn't totally sub me out because I would have been... Oh, disappointed. Mm -hmm. This thing has been changing direction since I've got here. Gotten here, excuse me. Seen a couple of drones go by earlier. A little different. They were pretty low. Actually, three of them went by. Alternating directions. Actually, my hands ain't too steady tonight. I'm a little tired. Light around all day. Maybe I'm overtired. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, beautiful flame, huh? Well, time to change direction. <laughs> Nearly fall on my ass. Here's a strange cut for you. <laughs> oh my god, excuse me. Hope I can delete that out. But I'd rather get rid of it than swallow it. My God, my ex-wife. My God, if I had, if I coughed and phlegm came up and I spit, she would like totally flip out, and I'd be, what are you nuts? What the all? Excuse me, but that sort of explains itself. But anyhow, uh, yeah, this wind is doing the fire great. That chunk's going to take off good. I haven't checked the weather report. Take a look at him. Nice day tomorrow. Yeehaw! Song. What's up, brother? Yeah, yeah. I've been getting some great video. like when the fire starts creeping over the piece of wood, 
chunk of wood and whatnot. You know, just the engulfing is like pretty intense. <laughs> Look for my glasses on my forehead. Is the wind gonna play? Oh my god. There's a stack of napkins that just went over. What a good Samaritan, huh? I'll keep them. It's one thing in the RV, I've been driving with my, my windows open and I'm noticing I'm cleaning my dash like every other day. I love my RV. That's like, you know, everybody thinks it's all peaches and cream, but it really, it keeps me busy, you know, which is a good thing. I mean, when I became disabled, they offered me a Section 8 house or what is it, it's a voucher now. And uh, I thought about myself sitting in that place with a remote in my hand, and I said, nope. I was in a wheelchair at the time. And so I was able to work myself out of it. I feel pretty good. Not great, but I was walking. Yeah, RV was the best thing I ever did. I've always been hyperactive, and, uh, you know, stress can get to me sometimes. And that, uh, Keeps me to a dull roar, which is pretty cool. But I'll say it again: it's not as easy. It's not like oh, go hop a RV and and your life is uh, easy and you have more money because, as you all know, no matter what you do, we all spend to our limit. Whether you're on disability or a millionaire, you know. I know a few people that make quite a bit of money and they're always complaining that they're broke. I mean, you know, 250 and up a year and still complaining, oh, I can't pay my electric bill. It's, it's insane. But that's what we're led to believe is right through the government and whatnot. And, you know, believe me, you're, you're trained to, to do that. Americanized. I hope I'm not talking too much. Uh, you know, do this more for the fire. But actually, it is a good chat time. For me, anyways. Hope you guys enjoy a little bit of it. I try to make sense. The erratic, pragmatic. I don't know, it fits for me. I'm erratic, and I like to think. Erratic, pragmatic. Scurry your little butt down there, all right, Tanya? This fire's got a little bit of everything. Oh, nice shot. There it is, one rep. And this is our bocce ball. I thought, actually, a few of you have told me that you don't know what bocce ball is. You start with a little ball, you got four members on each team, and then two of your teammates go down there, and two go down here, and then you actually uh, alternate. And you throw this little tiny, see the little ball between Jason, Justin's legs? You try to get the ball as close as you can to that. And like you see, he's got the measuring tape there. And then what you do is, uh, you try to get you try to get your ball as close as you can to the little ball. Oh, nice throw. Nice throw. Red point. Red point. Now you got it. Anyways, I think you get it. 
How are you doing tonight? I'm freezing. Are you really? Yeah. Uh, the, the, you're in the right spot. Yeah. The fire keeps falling. It's, it's changed direction. Like, you don't, like, I've been here for two hours and uh, I've been running around this thing. My legs hurt. <laughs> My name is John. John, thank you. Nice to meet you, thank you. I'm just getting some YouTube footage. I've, I, I have friends that enjoy fires, that, and they can't get to them, right? Like, I, in my last video, I posted it's hard, unless you own property, it's hard to have a fire unless you you pay for a campground or whatnot. You know, well, where do you go? You, you got two, you can't have fires. I never thought about it. Yeah, no, really, I love fires. I, I've been RVing full time for six years. I'm going on my seventh year, and, and I like my fires, but it's like I said, it's hard to, you know, when you're traveling. You know, and even when you pay for a campground, which I usually, I usually don't do, you're limited to the size. So this is beautiful. Yeah, it is. Okay. Do you live in town? Or? I do. Yeah. Long time or? Forever. Really? I'm baby. Our family's been in town almost 300 years. Oh, really? That's really cool. I We researched that while... Uh, my uncle Sam used to run the historical society, so we know a lot of the. It's, like, it's really neat. Not everything. I always get because I get on the topic. I get uh, people that teach me off, and you know because I'll get them started, and then they remember. You know, it's just it's it's good. Yeah, we we were very important in the civil or not the civil war, but. Come on, Tony. Bring it home. All right, guys, coming up on, uh, or actually going over a little 10 minutes. I'm going to cancel out because I want to pay attention to my uh, watchy pals. Y'all have a good night. Peace.